Oh hi guys, Guy Crush9 here with Let's Play Fable Anniversary. In the last episode, Maze revealed his true colors, and we had to kill him, unfortunately. But Jack's out there with the key, and he's gonna get the sword, and we should probably get out of here. That'd probably be a good idea. Anyways, I always thought they threw you directly into the mission. It proves how flawed my knowledge of this game can be sometimes. But um, well. <sighs> There's nothing really else to do but go back to the guild, because there are no side quests. We could do some of the open-ended stuff, but, I mean, why? I mean, I can always save that stuff for later. Anyways, um, I believe you have to actually pick up the quest card. So, like, I know, like, the last quest, they were like, Oh, it's too important, you gotta abandon everything to do this. And then... Like, they kind of give you, like, an in-between period, and it's kind of weird. Or maybe I'm remembering things wrong, and they're just going to throw me into the mission. Yeah, they're going to throw me into the mission. Things are far worse. Maze's betrayal surprised us all. But we have larger problems. Jack is trying to activate the ancient focus sites across Albion. You must stop him at all costs. I will explain more over your guild seal. Now, step through the Cullis Gate. Oh, well, alright, this is immediately throw us into the next quest, although the quest card started. Before we go, let's go ahead and see if we can power ourselves up a little bit. Ooh, we have quite a bit. Um, toughness, max. Uh, too bad we can Maybe I should have gotten health. Oh, well. More defense is probably better. Anyways, this is go. And you're not given the option to transport anywhere, you're automatically thrown to Witchwood Cullis Gate to start this off. Now, for this part of the game, expect to do a lot of running. And not really a lot of fighting, to be honest. Jack has to be stopped. He's activating those rocks. Always thought they were damn ugly things. I don't want to die for them either. I guess we'll just have to kill them first. Come on, follow the path and turn right. Alright, so we get the official start. Try to stop Jack of Blades. Stop Jack from activating the Witchwood focus site. Um, basically what's going to happen over the course of this quest is that a lot of enemies are going to be spawning in, but so are a lot of allies too. As a, as a result, it's pretty much just a good idea to just forget everyone and just go. Because there's, there's really no need to fight these guys and obtain unnecessary damage. Let's go up here. He uses a cleaver. How cute. <laughs> so Maze That's couldn't fine. hold you. He wouldn't have seen the end of the day anyway. He had outlived his useful. You're too late here. This site is active. But don't worry. I haven't finished with you yet. Looks like he's done whatever he was doing. But the portal is still open. Follow him through. I'll stay here and teach these animals who Briar Rose is. And you can probably guess how the rest of this quest is going to go. Basically, Wild Goose Chase Mode activated. And now we're a second orchard farm of all places. Jack well, is at the Greatwood Lake focus site. Oh, wait, while I'm here... Uh, no, that's the wrong way. Okay, I had to get my bearings on when I wh where I was. This is actually something I forgot to pick up in this file. You can actually go back here. But anyways, I forgot to open this treasure chest. <laughs> You've already seen what it is, it's treasure clue number five. Um, yeah, I just, I forgot to pick it up and, well... I'm here, might as well pick it up now. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a silly thing. But I mean, we don't have all the treasure clues yet, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, we want to go to Greatwood Lake. Because of all places, this is where another focus site is. It's kind of random, to be honest. I don't know. Like I said, all you're really doing in this quest is just kind of running away from the minions and the undead. Anyways, there's Jack. And oh no, we failed again. I 
thought you weren't going to make it. You'll never catch up with me. How do you like the new world? This is just a taste of what's to come, my boy. Just two more to go now. Alright, so we run off, and now we're being thrown into Hob Caves, of all places. Jack is at the Hob Cave focus site. And we're just going to ignore the Hobbs and just go. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny how there was just like a little gaggle of Hobbs at the beginning. They're like, hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> Yeah, there's a bit of walking to do, because you have to go all the way through the Hob Caves. And you're thrown at the entrance, so you have a couple of areas to run through real quick. Particularly this one. Oh yeah, also Screamers are involved in this mission too. <laughs> you! Oh, hi, this Sunder! This is not the place, but we have unfinished business, found. I've killed many of those creatures, but I can't go on much longer. Jack is performing some kind of ritual in the center of the cavern. I'll help you get there. Why did you try to stop him? I mean, you could have at least tried to stall him with your body. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, Thunder's here for some reason. Not that he really helps, to be honest. It's just kind of a, hey, remember this guy? He hates your guts, but here he is. And he's done. Only one left. You aren't making this much of a challenge. And now your flesh and blood is waiting for me. We're too late. He must be at Hetzman's Hill. That's where everyone else was heading. You better go after him. I'm exhausted. I need to find somewhere to rest. Alright, Wimp. Off I go. And so finally we're dumped into... Oh, Bastion Jail. I thought we were dumped in Windmill Hill. <coughs> It would have been more convenient because we would have had one less area to walk through. Jack has made it to the Gibbet Hill focus site. He must be stopped. Alright, so yeah, more of the same. More red tinted world. Randomly spawning enemies and friends. Just gotta dodge the minion blades and you're pretty much good. I mean, there really isn't much of this. This is just the dramatic lead up to the finale of the game. Or the original part of the game, anyways. Alright, Windmill Hill. Quite a few minions are spawning. Alright, got through that relatively unscathed. Alright, so give it woods. And I don't believe any more friends come to show up, so it's really just a straight run. And by friends, I mean like Thunder and Bryros. Anyways, bye minions, I'm going to see Jack. Sweet Scarlet. I hope there is still some blood left in those hard old veins. But look, here comes a fresh supply. Are you ready to see the guild burn, hero? Stop him! And believe it or not, that's actually quest complete. <clears throat> because we're thrown right back into the Heroes Guild. You can tell because of the extra loading time. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, quest complete. We're giving a free 5,000 gold and 800 renown for doing 
Pretty much nothing. Also, the guild's on fire. He's activated them all. You must get to the chamber of fate in the guild. Oh, also free health potion. You received a new quest card. And we get a free quest card. All right. Uh, get slow time on standby. And we're gonna walk into this little caveat here. Oh no, he's hurt. There's nothing we could do. He has power like none I've ever seen. And he has your mother and sister too. If either of them dies, Avo help us all. Stop him, lad. For all our sakes, stop him. Okay. And we got the final quest, Battle Jack of Blades. No, is it what are you do? doing out here? What? I didn't Did want to talk to you again. Fate and stop Jack. <clears throat> Alright, anyways, yeah, let's do that. And by Final Quest, I mean of the original game, of course. Kind of sucks I have to keep mentioning that. Anyways, small little area here, the Guild Caves. We get a free uh, bow, an oak long bow. I believe it spawns here during the uh, Jack of Blades quest, so... it's. I don't believe it's going to be there prior to that. Although, at this point, you should have at least a Master longbow, so I don't even know why they even give you an oak one. Anyways, I'm going to be quiet. What a touching family reunion. The mother, the son, the daughter, and the sword. There's only one thing. It's your blood next. Then I will make this world burn. So, so begins the final boss fight with Jack of Blades. First off, he's going to spawn a couple of minions and he's going to be behind a barrier. So you have to pick off the minions before you can get to him. Obviously, slow time helps a lot here. Of course, flourishing them is probably a bad idea. Go. If they would stop blocking, that would make it a little bit easier. See, I don't think Jack attacks you during this phase, though, so you're pretty much safe to take these guys on as you will. Oh, there's one more magic guy, okay. Ow. Alright, so now, second phase is, is essentially a straight up sword duel with him. Just flourish whenever you get the opportunity. Of course, Jack's gonna have a few tricks. He's gonna assassin rush to get out of the way. He's, um, I believe he shoots out like lasers from his sword if you get far enough away from him. Oh, yeah, there you go. Well, orbs. Same thing. He does have a bit of health though, so you're gonna have to do a bit of chip damage, but. Luckily, he doesn't fall down when you flourish him, so you can just keep comboing things like crazy. And now the final phase. And this is probably going to be the quickest phase, too. Now, you can't reach him anymore with your sword, so you're going to have to switch to bows from here on out. Luckily, these little pillars pop up. To give you a little bit of, um, you know shielding. Oh, he does that. And now you'll see the true power of multi-arrow. As you can see, I've already reduced him down to pretty much no health. And that's the fight, guys! I just two-shot Jack of Blades! <laughs> Broken arrow, it's OP! Now, normally he does spawn minions during that phase, too, but I just went through it so quickly that... <laughs> Whatever. And now comes the choice I spoke of so long ago. Strike me down now with the Sword of Aeons, and you will become as powerful as Jack dreamt of being. Cast it into the Vortex, and its darkness will be gone forever. So what will you do, little brother? 
And so we're immediately given the Sword of Aeons, the second most powerful weapon in the entire game. The oldest of all the weapons, the Sword of Aeons was Bloodforged long before the Old Kingdom. Once unlocked, its power is the power of all Albion. It comes with a health, mana, and experience augmentation. And it's a light weapon too, of all things. Despite how long it is. But of course, we have to do what's right. We have to cast the Sword of Aeons into the Vortex. To never be seen again. Lol JK! <laughs> and of course, quest complete. Battle Jack completes, we get Jack's mask as a trophy. How about that? The hero strode out of the guild, a dark shadow among the flickering flames. A crowd awaited him in silence, too numb to move, too afraid to cheer. There would be no celebrations to mark this victory, and life in Albion carried on, its peoples caught in the balance of present peace and the looming threat of the sword's new master. The greatest of all heroes wandered the land for a year, until at last, in his search for solace, he arrived in Oakvale. There he walked among the ghosts of his childhood and the memories of his lost family. Well, of course, this is Fable Anniversary. It's not done yet. Wait, he was Gil. Why is it spinning right there? Am I missing something? Or are they going to play the credits now? Or are we going straight to Oakvale? I'm assuming since it's loading Heroes Guild, we're going to the credits. Oh no, JK, we're going to Oakvale. <laughs> okay, game. Well, kind of mixed message there. So yeah, one year later. Hero, I'm sorry to disturb you, but we're receiving a message from Scythe. One of our oldest. Oh God, we've gone full evil! <laughs> oh, we finally get to see what it looks like. Perhaps it would be best if you came to the boasting platform outside the guild and saw for yourself. Oh, I guess that makes sense. We killed our sister after all. Oh, look at this! Full evil, full horns, red eyes, red smoke coming out of our feet. Oh, this is perfect. To use the vulgar thrust expression. <laughs> we get vulgar thrust. How about that? You just learned the insult expression. All right, and on that note, I'm gonna call it a video, Check guys. So this is Gary Christian Nine. This has been Let's Play Fable Anniversary, and in you the next episode, the well, the lost chapters await us. So until then, guys, I will see you all later.